Hi, welcome back to Movie Review Mom. And if this is the first time that you visited my channel, yay, you found me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you like what you see and I hope you will subscribe and ring that little bell and it'll notify you every time I upload a new movie review or trailer reaction. You can also visit me on my Facebook group called Movie Review Mom, where we have contests and polls and fun conversations about movies because we love movies. So today, the movie I'm talking about is Till Death. It's available in theaters and on video on demand on July 2nd, 2021. The movie is rated R and it's an hour and 41 minutes. I'm gonna give you an overview in a nutshell, then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like. I'll give tips for parents and Basically, the bottom line is kids shouldn't see this movie and themes worth talking about and finish it up with recommendations for other films. I'll give you my movie review mom score at the end. OK, so in a nutshell, Screen Media presents a very bloody horror movie about a woman who is left handcuffed to her dead bloody husband in their snowy cabin as part of a sick revenge plot. Unable to unshackle, she has to survive as two killers arrive to finish her off. Emma is played by Megan Fox, and she's stuck in this stale marriage to Mark, a wealthy man who got himself into some financial troubles, and is surprised when he whisks her away to their secluded lake house for a romantic evening on their 10th anniversary. But everything soon changes, and Emma finds herself trapped and isolated in the dead of winter, the target of a plan that gets more sinister at every turn. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so there were some things that I liked. Let me start with those. First of all, I had heard that Megan Fox was blackballed from Hollywood because she was very difficult to work with, but she's still been pumping out a lot of movies recently. And in fact, if you love her, be sure to check out my movie review of her in Rogue, which was a movie that came out just last year, a few months ago. In this movie, her character is intentionally very robotic in act one. So I was happy to finally see some emotion out of her moving forward. Now, some people say she can't act. Some people say she's just beautiful to look at. Both of those things might be true, actually. But I think with each attempt, she gets better and better. There are some jumps and scares that will make you laugh because they're just expected and yet not expected at the same time. I kept wondering what I would do in this kind of a situation, which of course I'll never be in because my husband's not a wackadoodle like hers was. <laughs> Now, there were some things that I didn't like. First of all, you spend the majority of the movie looking at a gory dead man being dragged around by a bloodied Megan Fox. Most people would immediately wipe off the blood splatters that they got on them, right? Well, she spends a lot of act one before she wipes all the stuff off of her face, but she's still wearing bloody clothes. She can't change her clothes because, you know, how do you take clothes off? when you're handcuffed to somebody. Anyway, so that's just kind of gross. The timeline might be a little bit confusing at the beginning for some viewers. And is it me or do the two leading men kind of look a lot alike? Actually, even some of the bad guys look like the leading guys too. There wasn't a whole lot of diversity in this. One thing that's very similar to all the characters is that <laughs> and it drives me nuts about horror movies is why are people so dumb in horror movies? There are a lot of plot holes and it's really, really hard to relate to the main character because she's ridiculously rich, beautiful, and an adulteress. So you kind of don't feel sorry for her. I mean, you do because nobody should have to go through what she goes through, but then you also kind of feel like there aren't any good people in this movie. Nobody that has integrity at all. And my husband won't even watch movies like that if he can't relate to anybody in the movie. So that's no bueno. So let me give you some tips for parents. As I mentioned, this is not a movie for children because of the content. Plus, kids actually will be pretty bored. It's super bloody. A couple starts to go at it on a bed, but they're clothed, so you don't see anything. You do, however, see lots of cleavage and skimpy clothes, mostly on Megan Fox. There is profanity and a lot of F-bombs and of course, lots of violence. The themes that are illustrated in the movie are control and power, revenge, marriage, 
loyalty and infidelity, greed, tenacity, and the will to live. So whenever I watch movies, I write down the funny lines and the interesting lines, really just so I can share them with you so you can get a flavor for the movie. So for funny lines, I wrote down just one because it really is a dramatic movie. And I don't know that this was intended to be funny, but it actually kind of made me laugh. So Megan Fox's character is having an affair. And of course, all of these events happen. And this guy that she's having an affair with says, is this because of us? And she says, uh, I'm pretty sure it's because he's insane, referring to her husband. <laughs> and then later, the same guy that she's having an affair with says, we manage the truth. And I thought that that was interesting. All right. So you want to know what my movie review mom grade is? This is a movie that's not going to win any awards. And a lot of people are going to just laugh and hate it. There was some entertainment value. And so overall, I'm going to give this movie a C. Now, let me give you a recommendation for a couple of other movies that came to my mind as I was watching this. One is called Enough with the beautiful Jennifer Lopez. And I think I thought of it because she is a beautiful woman who learns to really get gritty and dig deep in order to survive the events that happen in her movie. The second movie is called Red Dot and it featured on Netflix. It's actually a foreign film, but it made me think of it because there are these two people who are trying to survive out in the snowy wilderness when some events happen and then there are some twists. So you might get a kick out of that one. All right, that's it for my review. I hope that if you watch this movie that you get a kick out of it. And when you get a minute, be sure and subscribe Subscribe, visit and join my Facebook called Movie Review Mom and check out my Patreon page. All right, that's it for today's installment and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.